Hey, Bass Geek here. You're watching my bud and an awesome Hawkeye fan. Go Hawks. Debo Fishing. What's happening, fishing friends? Welcome to another episode. I am feeling good today. Beautiful morning. It's a little muggy. You almost have to chew the air, but got the lucky Bass Geek shirt on. If y'all have not checked out Hank's channel, make sure you go check out the Bass Geek. He is a great guy now. Speaking of great guys, look at this handsome fella. How? It's hot out here. It's a little warm, Randizzle. We're out this morning. We're gonna do a little, uh, little top water. Probably some frogging. Mm -hmm. um, it's scummy. There's a few open spots. I don't know. What else do you think we're gonna get on? Laird Albert. I want to catch a bass. It's been way too long since I've caught a bass fish. Too many of them slimy snakes. Ooh. Hopefully we're gonna catch a bunch of pike today. If that's enough yapping from us, let's uh, let's get fishing. Oh man, I can feel it. I'm I'm gonna catch a couple pike this morning. I've only caught I've only caught but a couple tiny pike this year. Or wait, have I even hooked up on a pike yet this year? Got him. I don't know what it is. Seems decent. Ah, first one of the day for me. Feels like a decent fish, and that's why you have that heavy stuff. Ah, oh, it is a pike. All right, my first pike of the year. It's a decent pike, too. Let's go. Think, maybe, maybe not. Oh, no, he's small. Look at him. He's just, he's just stunned that he's on Debo's fishing this morning. Perfect. All right, super cool. First pike of the year for me. He come off the frog? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh, you know what you should use? What? Turkey gloves. If he freaks, you can drop him. I got obviously a gnat on hold on to her. You good? Yep. All right, fish friends, there we go. First pike of the year. Man, they are active right now. Off he goes. He doesn't know where he's at. This way, this way, Mr. Pike. There he goes, look at him. Gosh, they're awesome, off he goes. Man, those things don't get enough love. Topwater pike, a morning of topwater pike on frogs like this, I'm ashamed to say it, but if they're biting really well, don't. I'm ashamed to say it. I'm ashamed to say it, but I would rather just keep catching these on frogs topwater. They are so much fun, they stink, they're slimy, but gosh, they are vicious with the topwater strikes. I know some people are saying, pike, they're nothing compared to bass. Bass are way more fun to catch. I'm telling y'all, pike top water is highly. What do you think that pike weighs? Five pounds? Uh, I don't know. That was small, too. Yeah, that was a small pike. What's about pike is it's not uncommon to catch a bigger pike. Yeah, like Randy was saying, that's the fun thing is that wasn't even a big pike. Those are still a load of fun to catch. My reel. I wasn't even watching it. You went, oh, and I was looking over ears. I didn't even see it. Dude, this re this handle is half stripped. Wasn't is even that, watching. Like the brake snapping, or what is it? No, it's the where your pinion connects to the main gear. It's clicking over it. Wow, do you think that's a fish? Like, yeah. I'd say that was a fish, by golly. Not at all. It was right here. Oh, mama hail. Wow, that was close. Not only to my face, but to catching my line. Not at all. Yeah. Here. No. Go back and watch the footy. Oh. Ooh. Ah, let's go. No. Oh, he's still on. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I thought he'd come off, started running at me. Oh, let's go. What a fun morning. Oh, you're firing up everything out there. Co-angler. Yeah. Co-angler, I need, I need you to net. Oh, oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, my gosh, it's a big one. Yeah. 
No! You got him. <sighs> you got it. Oh, he's Where stuck. You, you got it. Ah, get out of there. That's why you have 65 pound braid. That's a good one. Ready? Oh yeah, that is a good one. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. He looked bigger coming through there. Oh, oh he's a horse, oh. dude. My friends from across the uh, the great pond, you can just leave, kind of leave him in. Oh, okay. My friends from across the great pond will uh, will appreciate these guys. And I know bass guys hate them because if you're fishing for bass and these guys cut you off, it is annoying. But uh, for whatever reason on frogs, they seem to get it and you seem to not really lose a ton of them. We have lost some in the past, but whoo. Oh, buddy. On one? Yep. Oh, crap. Yep. All right, well, this is going to be I, interesting. I got it. I got it. I got it. Look at Randy's compared to mine. Shut up. Randy, mine's bigger than yours. Mine, Randy's. Mine, Randy's. Thing is a tank. God, their mouths just freak me out. All right, there we go. Look at that one. That one is a tubby, tubby pike. Gosh, these things are so much fun. Look at that dude. I don't even know how much he weighs. He is thick. Big guys tire out real quick. This warm water. Look at him. Look at how big he is. Oh, big dog. That's the nice thing about being able to keep him in the net. Whoo. All right. Get him rejuvenated here. S motion to get that water in his gills. There he goes. Nice. Oh, gosh. It's fun. Oh, yeah. My hands smell all pikey. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We haven't got to do this for a minute. So this is that scum frog. I've had a, a couple people say, how do you walk it back and forth? I can't get mine to do it. The big key is, is slack line. You've got to have slack line, loose line. You can see how loose my line is here. When I'm popping it, I'm popping it on real slack line, getting it to walk back and forth like that. And I'm using kind of sharp pops instead of like just dragging it or pulling it. Sharp pops on, on frogs that are kind of tough to walk seems to help a lot more. Quick, quick pops. Yeah, quick, sharp pops on slack line. Oh, right there, something little. I want to go over here and catch these pike that were plopping and whopping and crop lopping. Ooh, I should have retied. Yeah. Ooh, well, here we go. Forgot to retie. Just thought of it now. I'm not going to spoil this cast because I just saw something chasing over here. If I break off, Randy gets to Rochambeau me. Oh, that's a bass. Listen to him. I don't need that kind of bad mojo, Ricky Bobby. Don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Oh, that is a bass. Oh, this is why you have 65 pound braid and a heavy rod. This is why. Not for the fish. Oh, there we go. A little two pound bassy on the morning. I don't know how to handle these things. I've been handling pike. All right, there we go. A little two pound bass on the scum frog. I'll take a little two pounder like that this morning. Love it. A couple pike, nice little bass. Thank you, sir, for playing. Go back. Oh my gosh. This is why I love frogging. My hands are gross. I got slop all over me. I stink like pike. It doesn't get any more fun than this frogging. I'm telling y'all, such a fun time. I'm full of energy. I would told you. They felt like a good day, Randizzle. You're full of piss and vinegar. It's your, it's your handsome face that got me all going. You're just such a handsome man. This thing is bent out of... I told you that. Yeah, all the time, this actually. Is Come on, you humdingers. Three more over here. I'm a loud, crazy thing on top of the water. Come eat me. Huh? <gasps> Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you got him. <laughs> Randy, you caught another. It's like a real pike, but really small. That's a good one. You want a picture? Let's get a picture of you with it. Hold it like it's a trophy. Way out. No, grab it. Hold. Couple more, please. 
Sounds fun to me. Slow walk like that, you can see how I'm just kind of popping it back and forth, making that little splash as it goes side to side. Slow, deliberate, with a little bit of splash in there. That's been the, the money walk. Oh, that was a beaver. Daggum beaver's angry. Where's Nickelodeon when you need him? It did. Debo, yeah, how's it going, man? How's it going? We got a subscribe fish and friend come out to meet us. Austin, what do you have to say? Not much. Not extremely great this morning, but hey, nevertheless, we're out on the water. That's the important thing. Keep yeah. grinding. It's been kind of tough for us too, but keep grinding, man. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, well, I'll give you knuckles. Yeah. All right, dude. Nice meeting you. Take care. Oh my God, I was fishing out here the other day and I went to set a hook just like it was right here, but I, I did the Debo and it came, flew, flew back and went underneath the dock. You're like, oh, practice and skip it. Yeah, totally meant to do that. Nothing's popping. It's only locking. There you go. Stupid. Little snake. Little pike. Ah. There we go. I'm in a kerfuffle right here. No. No, he didn't. See ya. That's why I don't like the pike. And that's why. Good thing I got plenty of frogs on deck. Well, you see here, boys. Last week, we had a couple of reaver otters come through. All right, clear these pads. There we go. That's the territory we want to get in over here. I told you. I think so. Not a big one when he can do this. No, I think it's pike. Oh, no, it's bass. Nope, it's pike. It's a pike. These are the kind that'll tear you up. All right, there we go. Another pike on the day. Littlest one for me today. All right, little guy. Go, be free. Off he is. All right, well, little low there. Let's check the braid. No Fraser cuts. We look good there. Okay, I like it. It's not Walter Fraid. Not Walter Fraid. All my GOT fans out there. Oh, muskrat. That's river otter. River otter. Just missed a good one. Right here he was. Come on. Come back after it now. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. Got him. Yeah, feels like a decent one. Ah. Ah. Get out of there. Get out of there. Another pike. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. All right, there we go. Another little dude on the day, not huge. Oh, what a fun morning though. And there he goes, awesome. That was awesome. I watched him come out of the rocks to get it. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Adios, compadre. I understand. We are all Robert Paulson.
nothing. Nothing to see here. Tail nutted me. Oh, he's a nice one. He's, he's, he's a good pound and a half. -er. Thanks, buddy. Is that unscrewing as it shakes? I completely broke it. It come unglued. And oh. Attached. Huh. All right, fish and friends, that's going to do it from us for today. All in all, pretty darn fun day. This morning, we got on some good frog action. Anytime I can get a frog fix, it's a good day. If you haven't done any topwater pike fishing and you get a chance, I highly recommend it. It's a bunch of fun. They are rough on your gear though. Uh, that launch frog of mine is roasted. I'm gonna have to go home and see if I can fix it with cement it. Dizzle, what do you think about today? It was a fun day. You know, honestly, I didn't have as much luck as you did with the pike. However, you know, we got to this last spot and I went back to the old trusties. I went with the jig and I went with the underspin. You know, I caught, you know, three, four, I think maybe, Three, five, maybe fish. I don't know how many it was. Who cares? We caught Twelve. fish and it was fun. So all in all, pretty darn good day. We got to get out. We got to catch some fish. Caught a couple more after the frog, but uh, it slowed down a lot. Got hot out. Wasn't supposed to be too hot, but it's hot. So uh, so that's going to do it from us today. Today's subscribe fishing friend is... That dude, Neil. Hey, man. Good talking to you. Thanks for watching the videos. It's always great to hear from somebody that enjoys what we do. Neil, we appreciate you and everybody else. Thank you all so much for watching us and supporting means a ton to us, but it's hot. I think we're both kind of going loopy from the heat. So uh, thanks for watching and until next time.